the Samsung Galaxy S8 is arguably the best Android smartphone right now. Along with its stunning design and display, the S8 packs in a new Samsung Experience UI, which looks great while bringing some really handy features. Well, as you might have guessed, there are ways to get the S8 look along with various S8 features on your Android device. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I'm going to show you how you can get the S8 look and S8 features on your Android smartphone and that too without rooting your device. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's start off with the S8 home screen. The S8 comes with a new launcher that's partly inspired by the Pixel launcher. It has new icons, some cool widgets and well, it looks great. So here are the steps to get the S8 home screen on your Android device. Firstly, you need to install the very popular Nova Launcher. Do note that some of these options will require Nova Launcher Prime. When you start setting up Nova Launcher, make sure to select the overall theme as dark with the app drawer style set to immersive. Also set swipe up to open up the app drawer. Once done, tap on apply. Then go to Nova Launcher settings. Here tap on the desktop option. Now select the page indicator as the three dot style. Now go back and go to the app and widget drawers option. Here set the drawer app grid as six by four. After that, go to the icon layout option and change the icon size to 125% and font style to light. Then go back and change the app drawer style to horizontal and disable the swipe indicator. Also in the background option, select the color as black while setting the transparency to 20%. Once done, head back and go to the dock option and disable dock background. Then go to icon layout and increase the icon size to 125%. Also enable labels and change the phone style to light. Now just arrange the icons on your device to match the S8's home screen. After you're done, head to the play store and install the Elegance UI icon pack available for free. Once it's installed, go to Nova settings and in the look and feel page, change the icon theme to Elegance UI. If some of the icons don't match the assets, press hold on the icon and tap on edit. Then tap on the icon. After which go to the Elegance UI option and select the icon that matches the assets icons. Once done, go to the play store and install the S8 launcher theme. This app brings a number of S8 related content, but we'll only use it to get the S8 wallpapers. In the app, just head to the wallpapers tab and set the S8 wallpaper you want. Then we'll need the widgets. First, make sure to remove the Google widget and the Gmail widget Nova Launcher offers by default. For the widgets, you will need to buy the Zuper Widget Pro app available at $3 and the Trident for Zuper app available at a dollar. Once both the apps are installed, add a Zuper widget of size 5x1 or 4x1 depending on your device screen size. Then tap on the widget to set it up. Here tap on the Trident option and scroll down to find the S8's Google search widget and tap on it. Now you'll have to configure the widget. First, make sure to scale the widget to fit the screen. Then head to the layout option and tap on the rectangular module. Here change its color to a mix of white and transparent. Also reduce the height of the widget if it looks too fat. Once done, go back and select the Google logo image and resize it to fit the widget properly. Do the same for the microphone image as well. Now let's add the weather widget of the S8. Well, just add a 2x3 Zuper widget 
Then from the various Trident widgets, select the S8 weather widget. Now scale it up to make sure it fits properly. Then go to the layout option and resize the various texts and icons in the widget to match it to the S8's weather widget. It might take some fiddling but if you want the S8's widget, you'll have to play with it. Well, that was it. You now have the cool Galaxy S8 home screen on your Android smartphone. Looks really good, right? If you've seen our review of the Galaxy S8, you would know that I love the phone's design. Apart from the bezel-less design, there are rounded corners on the display that make up for a great finish. They certainly look cool. Well, with the rounded corner wrap, you can get the rounded corners on any phone. You can just open the app, enable it, and that's it. You can change the size of the corners to make sure it looks great. Yes, I love playing with the rounded corners. There are also options to change colors of the corner. And there are different style corners too, if that's something you'd like. The S8 is the first Samsung smartphone to come with on-screen navigation buttons and they feature the same wireframe design that we see in the icons. Well, you can get these icons through the custom navigation bar app. Once installed, you'll have to give the app necessary permissions through ADB. So make sure you have ADB on your PC or Mac. Then go to developer options on your Android smartphone and enable USB debugging. Now connect your phone to your computer and open up terminal or command prompt. Here, type ADB devices to check if your device is connected or not. Then enter the command ADB shell. After that, enter the shown command to give the app right secure settings permission. Don't worry, I'll leave all the commands and the links in the description below. Once the process is complete, the app will open up. Now you'll have to download the home, back and recent icons from the S8 on your phone. I will leave a link to it in the description. Once it's on your phone, open the custom navigation bar app. Here go to navigation bar and then tap on the experimental tweaks option. In the back section here, change the type to key code and set the key code to back. Then change the icon to the S8 back icon you just downloaded. Now change the type of both home and overview to key code. Also set their key codes to home and app switch while changing their icons to the S8 icons you just downloaded. And that is all, you now have the cool S8 navigation bar icons on your Android device. The always on display is something that I've always loved on Samsung smartphones. And it's even better on the S8. While you cannot get an always on feature as good as the one on the S8, the Glass Plus app does bring you decent functionality. After you've installed the app and gave it the permissions, you can just enable it to get an always-on display on your device. Like the S8's always-on display, Glance Plus brings you various details on calendar, notifications, battery, weather, music controls and more. Like the S8, you can also have a background image in the Glance screen. But you'll need to purchase the full version of the app to use that feature. The edge panel on the Galaxy S8 and previous Samsung flagships is a very handy feature. It lets you launch apps quickly, dial a contact, check notifications and do a lot more. While there's no way to get a beautiful curved edge display on your phone, you can get this functionality. All you need is the People Edge S8 app. When you enable the app, it brings a floating dot button on the edge of the display 
which you can tap to see various edge panels. Like the S8, you have the People Edge, Apps Edge, Quick Tools, Weather Edge and more. Plus the app brings you various themes and options so that you can match the S8's edge panels. I'm not a big fan of Bixby. In fact, I call it a failed attempt from Samsung in our review. However, if you'd still want to give it a try, you can do so, but only on Samsung smartphones running Nougat. The process is pretty simple. You just need to install the S8 Launcher app, then install the Bixby APK and go back to the home screen. Here, tap and hold to get the S8 Launcher settings. Then tap on home screen settings and then on hello bixby settings. Here enable the hello bixby cards. Once done reboot your phone. When the phone restarts, long press on the home screen and you will see a toggle for hello bixby. Simply turn it on and then you can swipe right on the home screen to get the bixby cards. There is no voice support or bixby vision here but it should give you a taste of the Bixby cards on the S8. However, if you'd like a Bixby vision-like feature on your device, you can try out the Cam Find app that identifies objects from the camera. You can just take a photo of the object and the app identifies it. For instance, here I'm clicking a photo of the Galaxy S8. Well, Cam Find identifies it as the black Galaxy S8 and even brings me various links about it. That is impressive, right? Also, instead of Bixby, I'd suggest you to give Google Assistant a shot. It's pretty good. You can check out our video on how to enable it if you haven't already. So there you have it. Your device now looks like S8 while also packing in various S8 features. Well, those were some of the ways to get the S8 look and features on your Android smartphone. Try them out and let me know how they worked out for you in the comment section below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.